so we'll discuss osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is actually a colligative property that means it depends upon the concentration of the solute or number of particles of solute before understanding osmotic pressure let us try to understand osmosis osmosis what is osmosis when a solvent and a solution containing the same solvent is separated by a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane there is a spontaneous flow of the solvent molecules from the solvent side into the solution side this is called osmosis or if we separate a dilute solution from the concentrated one by a semi permeable semi permeable membrane there is a spontaneous flow of the solvent molecules from the dilute solution into the concentrated solution through the semi permeable membrane this is called osmosis so what is semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane it is actually a membrane which allows solvent molecules to pass through it but prevents the passage of solute particles or solid molecules so it may be artificial or natural for example we use copper ferrocyanide precipitate we use pig's bladder we use parchment paper as semi permeable membranes now if you want to stop the osmosis agar aap osmosis ko stop karna chahte ho then you have to apply certain pressure from the solution side you have to apply certain pressure from the solution side the minimum pressure required to stop the minimum pressure required from the solution side to prevent osmosis that is called osmotic pressure so osmotic pressure actually it is a minimum pressure minimum pressure or required to stop osmosis to stop osmosis so this osmotic pressure is derived by a letter just like pi so so osmotic pressure ko is letter se derive karte hain so being a colligative property it is proportional to concentration at a particular temperature here c is the concentration of solute t is the temperature so osmotic pressure is proportional to concentration so we can write this like this pi is equal to r c t where r is here r is here proportionality constant equal to gas constant this is equal to gas constant sometimes we call this solution constant so it is values same as that of the gas constant so it is sometimes called solution constant so here we will take the concentration c in terms of molarity that means number of moles of solute that is component b divided by volume that is number of moles per unit volume number of moles of solute per unit volume of the solution that is actually molarity this is molarity so we will replace here c the concentration of the solution by molarity so we can write like this pi is equal to r n b divided by v t so this is a relation by which we can calculate osmotic pressure from knowing the values of number of moles that means knowing the values of molarity temperature and gas constant so suppose the values here we can calculate the osmotic pressure of a solution so this formula is known this relation is known as watt hoff watt hoff's osmotic pressure formula 
so we can also use this osmotic pressure for calculating molecular mass of a solute for that we will derive a relation we will derive a relation we will substitute nb nb ko hum replace kar denge by wb divided by mb so this is number of moles of solute that means component b that is equal to mass of solute mass of solute in grams divided by it is molecular mass so this will give number of moles of component b so we will substitute here that is pi is equal to r into wb divided by mb into 1 by v into t so we can simplify this we can write the relation like this this is mb this is molecular mass of component b is equal to r wb into t divided by pi into v so this is the required relation by which we can calculate molecular mass of solute this formula this equation is used to calculate the molecular mass mostly of proteins and other macro molecules and we use this osmotic pressure method to calculate the molecular masses of proteins and other micro molecules so this is the relation by which we can calculate the molecular mass of a, of solute by using osmotic pressure so osmotic pressure can be determined experimentally after finding the value we substitute here and we will get the molecular mass of a particular solute so what is now osmotic pressure so osmotic pressure is simply simply it is the minimum pressure required to prevent osmosis what is osmosis osmosis is actually spontaneous flow of the solvent molecules from the solvent side into the solution side through a semi permeable membrane or flow of solvent molecules from the dilute solution into the concentrated one through a semi permeable membrane okay